Alright guys, welcome. I actually don't remember if we've done a 19th century battle of South America. I feel like we probably did with uh, some of the earlier battles of the Latin American revolutions, but uh, let's assume we did. Welcome back to another battle featuring 19th century South America. We don't get a lot of these, but we're coming at you with the Battle of Itorio. Yeah, uh, wow, man, my pronunciations are terrible. Itororo, uh, part of the Paraguayan War, which is a war that pitted Paraguay against a joint uh, coalition of nations headed by Brazil, but also including Argentina and I believe Uruguay. Uh, but we are going to see a Brazilian force of almost 19,000 troops going up against a Paraguayan force of only 2,000. So this is going to be a bit of a bloodbath here. But uh, we've got a nice array of Brazilian troops. We have a cool map, too. Uh, this is, uh, for those who might recognize it, it's the Cuba map from Empire Total War. Uh, so for both factions, we are using Spain to represent them. Unfortunately, there's no Portugal in Empire Total War. And uh, there's definitely no Brazil or Paraguay. Uh, but for our Brazilian army, we've got a nice mix of troops, a combination of some regulars with some uh, volunteers, which I kind of took to be militia. Uh, and then we also have some cavalry, some militia light cavalry, and we're using the carabiners to represent those guys. Those guys look great. Plus, look at the background. It's, it's misty. It has the look of a jungle. Who doesn't love it? Uh, that all being said, I'm going to focus on utilizing our regulars. Uh, because Paraguay does not have that big of an army, like I said, 2,000. And this is on a scale of, I believe, 7 to 1. So each soldier you see here was going to represent about 7. That would have been in a historical battle. So they really only have one unit of infantry and two units of these cavalry. Uh, professional heavy cabs, so we are using regiments, of course, to represent those guys. And we're immediately putting our infantry into squares because that cavalry could deal a lot of damage. There's a great way to avoid that. So, Paraguayans are starting to crest themselves over this hill. Now, this was a river battle. Uh, I was worried that this wouldn't turn out great. Um, because there's no river maps in this game for me to use. At least not in custom battle. But I think this actually worked out pretty well. So, I'm not upset at not being able to use a river map. I think it still turned out pretty well. Here we go, some of the Paraguayan cavalry coming for a charge against our square. And at the last minute, they hesitate. And now they're just going in for a melee and uh, a little bit underwhelming. Music we've got for you today, by the way, is some Paraguayan folk harp music, since we are in Paraguay. Some of our other infantry squares getting some nice shots off on the Paraguayan cavalry. Commanders we have for this battle for Brazil, we have the Marquis of Caxias. And for Paraguay, we have Bernardino Caballero. And here we go, Paraguayan infantry now coming up to challenge our regulars. And I think we are going to start getting out of square. We did bring up some of our own cavalry to the flanks to help support the infantry squares as uh, we start dealing with the Paraguayan infantry at our center. And now that our cavalry has run down or run off a lot of the Paraguayan in, uh, cavalry, we're going to get out of square format, except for this unit, which I'm immediately going to put back into because uh, these... Uh, Paraguayan cavalry kind of harassing our line. So we're going to try to break them and then we'll get back into regular line format with this unit. Bow! 
By the way, got to give a quick shout out to all of our Patreon subscribers, folks that make all the magic happen. If you guys are interested in joining our Patreon, you can add to the link in the video description below. You can sign up for one of several really cool tiers. hard, even though they are dramatically outnumbered. They're doing a good job of holding this position. But they break, and I believe that's going to be the battle. I don't think there's any Paraguay and Cavalry left. So if you guys like this battle, feel free to hit that like button. If you want to see more battles from 19th century South America. Let me know in the comments below which battles you'd like to see. And if you want to stay up to date on all of our battle reenactments, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.